I was uh, kind of dwelling on the fact that, you know, we always wonder why did the narcissist come into your life or why did God allow the narcissist to come into your life, right? Or why did he, you know, continue to allow these people to come into your life? And, you know, you know it was uh, to wake you up to the generational curse that, you know, was put upon your life from generations back. I do believe that. I do believe that they have inherently come into your life because it was part of your destiny to wake you up to uh, help you to see that uh, without having that nemesis in your life, that you would have never uh, realized some things and understood your power, uh, that you have the tools that are really at your fingertips so that you can do more on this earth before you leave, right? Bring back that, that faith that you had lost maybe um, from times back. Well, we're on this earth long enough to where we can grow in faith and we can lose faith. We can uh, grow in, in hope and long suffer. We can lose that. And sometimes things like this that come into your life and things that perpetuate in your life are things that show you uh, that you're making mistakes. I guess I'm talking about boundaries. Uh, and the thing is, is to some degree, I think like God allows like people to come into your life over and over like this because for him to really use you, for him to really um, be able to put stock in you and uh, invest in you. You know, you see like people invest in stocks, right? But they, they don't want to invest in, in a stock in a portfolio that's going to go under. They don't want no Enron stock, you know what I'm saying? They don't want no Bernie Madoff, you know what I'm saying? You, know, you don't need that. It, 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 people that know that a stock is, is going to... Um, run off, a stock's going to collapse and, and be worthless. Uh, it may look good today, but it, you know, in 10 years, it's going to be useless, worthless. And all the blood, sweat and tears that went into that stock that, that, cause you know, finances represents your blood, sweat and tears, you know, and that's why, you know, finances are supplied to the narcissist as well, because it represents your energy. But getting back to the topic, um, for God to invest in you and know that you have uh, holes or chinks in your armor that are going to make you collapse. Uh, and he knows this. Uh, he knows that people are going to come along that are going to be able to collapse you, that are going to be able to get through that armor and um, destroy you. Uh, and, and, and your stock is the stock that he has, has, you know, put into you the time that he has put into you is going to be worthless uh well then uh you know in, in his all knowingness you know i mean i think that i don't want to speak for god but i mean to some degree looking at it from a humanity state i mean i wouldn't want to do that would you i mean to build something up to be worth a lot of money but then uh a year or two down the road it's it's worthless I mean, the whole thing was a waste. And so I think that some of this is to help you, uh, to, to get you uh, keen on the ways that people will try to attack you so that you can, um, you know, build up that particular piece of armor on your body so that when you go through battle, that this, when he, he wants to put, he does want to put stock into you. He does want to invest into you, but you have to be able to withstand the battles that come. And if you can't withstand the battles, uh, in his all knowingness, knowing the beginning from the end, this is all just to better you. And as sad as it must be, as hard as it must be, that uh, with uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and, and having more of that, also increases you know your the sadness because you know more of what is going on out and about and around you and it's dark and 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 it's unfortunate but <clears throat> it is what it is and you have to also be able to uh handle that that not everything in life is is happy and go lucky not everything in life is uh, gonna succeed around you. I mean, you will succeed. 
you have an opportunity to succeed. I mean, they do as well. Um, we all have chances and we all make decisions every day. And so we need to make better decisions. We need to be keen and we need to not um, uh, fall uh, for just always trying to be in a comfortable place. Because for you to get to get to um, the next level, to get to uh, a more secure spot, to be a stronger individual, to withstand the battles that will come your way, because God is putting more stock into your life. God is, is willing to invest into you. You have to be able to withstand the battle that comes along with that. And so, if you're on right now, please give me a thumbs up and a like and a subscription. I love y'all. And uh, I thank you for subscribing. I thank you for all my subscribership. And I hope that I am able to help y'all, build y'all up, and uh, help you to see what I see sometimes, you know? And to explain to you everything that I've gone through. And maybe it will help you. So thank you for watching. Give me a like, subscription, a thumbs up. And until next time, soldier up, stand tall. Peace, we out.